Hey guys, welcome back to About Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods to add black bars to your video to give it a cinematic effect. So without further delay, let's get started. So the first method involves the use of cropping and we will also learn to add animation to it. So select the clip on the timeline and go to inspector panel. In inspector panel, you have to search for cropping and you have to just enable it. Expand the cropping and for the black bars without any animation, you just have to fix crop top and crop bottom but to add animation to this black bars let me reset this first okay to add animation to the black bars you have to select the clip on the timeline place the playhead at the starting of the video and just add a crop top and crop bottom keyframes this is the keyframe of crop top and this is the keyframe of crop bottom now we have to move some frames ahead you can do this by simply pressing the right arrow of your keyboard one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have moved 10 frames ahead and now again we have to add a keyframe of crop top and crop bottom. And this time we have to adjust the crop top. Let's say I'll fix it at 100 and also the crop bottom to 100 to maintain the symmetry. To see on the clip where are your keyframes you just have to click this timing button on the keyframe. Let us enlarge the timeline to see the keyframes. We can see that we have two keyframes, one is of default value and other one is the fixed one. So let's just play the video. You can see that we have animated the appearance of black bars. You can expand the duration of this animation by simply distancing these keyframes. Let me play this for you again and now you can see the black bars appearing slowly. To give it more perfection, you just have to click this curve on the video clip. Expand the timeline to see the graph. Here you can see that it is a linear graph. To add A's in, you just have to select both the keyframes and click on this first option to add A's in effect. You can see that the linear graph is appearing curved now. Now let's play it again and now you can see that the black bar animation has perfectly eased in. With the first method of cropping, you can apply cinematic black bars to one clip at a time on timeline. In case you want to add black bars to all the clips on the timeline at once, then I have a second method for you. But before going for that, let me reset this cropping back. Now for the second method, you have to click on color tab. Now at the top right corner of your screen, you simply have to change this clip to the timeline. And now in the toolbox, you have to enable sizing. Now in output sizing, under blanking, you have to fix the top as 100. You may extend this figure if you want. Now I want to fix it at 100. so it's 100 and now from the bottom I have to subtract 100 as I have fixed my top to 100 I have to subtract 100 from this so it would be 980 and now when you go to edit you can see that all the clips on the timeline have this black bars so that's it guys if you want to know how to rotate and flip a video in DaVinci Resolve please click on the video at the top right corner of your screen if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve videos please subscribe this channel it will notify you when any new video comes out feel free to comment what other new videos would you like to see in future hope you enjoyed this video see you next bye bye